Hello friends, this video on Rational Numbers Part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us quickly look at multiplication of uh, rational numbers. We will also look at it on the number line. So multiplication is pretty simple. Here we just follow a simple logic. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So let us look at an example. Let's say you have to multiply 3 by 2 by 5. So how will you do that? So 5 is nothing but 5 by 1. So you multiply the numerators which is 3 into 5 that is 15. And then you multiply the denominators. 2 into 1 is 2. So the result is 15 by 2. Now if you want to have a look at this multiplication on the number line, here you go. Let's say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So what does this mean? 3 by 2 into 5. That means you take 5, 3 by 2 is added 5 times. This actually means that 3 by 2, you are adding 3 by 2 5 times. So what does that mean? That actually means that you take 5 times, 5 jumps where each jump is 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 is 1 and a half. So this is 1 jump, 3 by 2. So the next jump of 3 by 2 would be here. The next jump of 3 by 2 would be here. Again the next jump would be somewhere here. Now the entire thing is not visible on the screen. But when you actually take 5 jumps where each jump is 3 by 2 you reach 15 by 2 which is nothing but 7 and a half. So 15 by 2 lies between 7 and 8. So try to do this yourself. So in a similar way let us try to perform some more multiplication. Let's say minus 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 by minus 2. So this gives minus 3 by minus 4. Similarly 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 by minus 6. So multiply the numerators which is 3. Multiply the denominators which is minus 12. So this becomes 3 by minus 12. So in this fashion you perform multiplication of rational numbers. So when we talk about multiplication like how we have the concept of additive inverse in a similar way we have a concept of multiplicative identity as well. So that is where comes the concept of reciprocal. So reciprocal of a number is that number which when multiplied by the number gives 1. So let us take some examples. Let's say you have a number 3 by 2. Do you think that you can have a number which when multiplied by 3 by 2 gives you 1? Can you have any such number? Yes, you can have. Just think of this number 2 by 3. So if you multiply 2 by 3 with 3 by 2, what will you get? You will get nothing but 1. Right? So this is called the reciprocal of 3 by 2. So 2 by 3 is reciprocal of 3 by 2. So what is actually reciprocal? It is that number which when multiplied by the given number gives you 1. Now why this concept of reciprocal exists? That's because 1 is the multiplicative identity. Like how we saw that 0 is additive identity. That means when you add 0 to a number, the number remains the same. Similarly, when you multiply 1 to a number, the number remains the same. Like 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 3 by 2. Minus 15 by 3 multiplied by 1 gives you minus 15 by 3. 0 multiplied by 1 gives you 0. So any number multiplied by 1 gives you the same number. So that is why 1 is called multiplicative identity. And because of this concept, we see that we always come across a number which when multiplied by another number gives you 1. Right? So the simple tip to remember when you want to find reciprocal is that just make the numerator as denominator and the denominator as numerator. So basically interchange the numerator and denominator. So let us try to find reciprocals 51. So what would be the reciprocal of 51? So here the numerator is 51 and denominator is 1. So just interchange them. So 1 by 51 would be the reciprocal. 10 by 24. So here 10 is the numerator and 24 is the denominator. Just reverse the order. So 24 by 10 would be the reciprocal. Minus 11 by 6. So here minus 11 is numerator and 6 is denominator. So change it. It would be 6 by minus 11. Minus 9 by minus 3. So in this case also just change the numerator and denominator. So minus 3 by minus 9 would be the reciprocal. So let us now look at the division of rational numbers. 
Now, when we talk about dividing a rational number, it is the same as multiplying it with the reciprocal of the other rational number. Now, what again, what does that mean? Let's say you have a rational number minus 3 by 5 and you want to divide it by 2. So, dividing it by 2 is same as multiplying it with reciprocal of 2. So, multiplying it with 1 by 2. So the, 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 that is what the meaning of division is like how in case of subtraction, subtraction means what adding the additive inverse. Similarly here division means multiplying the reciprocal. So you might now multiplication is pretty simple multiply the numerators which is minus 3 multiply the denominators which is 10. So the answer would be minus 3 by 10. In a similar way let's take another example minus 7 by 12 divided by minus 2 by 13. So dividing minus 2 by 13 is same as multiplying 13 by minus 2. So here minus 7 into 13 would be minus 91, 12 into minus 2 would be minus 24. So minus minus would cancel out so you would get 91 by 24. So this would be the answer. So you see this is pretty simple whenever you want to divide two rational numbers that actually means you multiply with the reciprocal of one of the numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.